The aerospace industry has a very large impact on our region. We have fixed base operators in our area, we have manufacturers in our area, we uh, have a large composite industry in our area, and they all have workforce needs that we're answering. As computers become faster, the products have to be uh, more capable, and we're on the brink of some pretty significant technology now, which I think will assure our market share for a very long time. If we remain united and continue to promote ourselves as a consortium, it's going to be a great opportunity for our region. You look at going into the future of where the investments are going to be made, what we're going to need to be do uh, doing as a world economy, as a regional economy, and I think this is a smart play. And uh, over and over again, I see the aerospace as a fundamental cornerstone to our state economy and one that here in Spokane we're a vital part of. At Triumph Composite Systems, we build environmental control system ducting, floor panels, and flight deck hardware parts for the aerospace industry. We spend uh, over $12 million a year with local companies. They help manufacture floor panel covering products, as well as supply a lot of standards that we use in our everyday operation. Currently, we have about 620 employees, and by the end of the year, we think we'll be close to 675 employees. We have a wonderful facility here at Spokane International Airport. We have nearly 4,500 acres. We have two recently reconstructed runways, state-of-the-art uh, air traffic control uh, system and top-line staff here at the airport. And we obviously have parking and terminal building facilities and rental car facilities to service our customers. We employ about 110 full-time employees here at Spokane Airports. And also, we have about 3,000 people that come to work every day between Spokane International Airport and the airport business park. And our annual economic impact is nearly $1 billion in the regional economy of Spokane Coeur d'Alene. We manufacture wind tunnel and flight test instrumentation, primarily doing pressure measurement on wind tunnel models and flight test aircraft. We decided that when I got to be 40 years old, we could move our family business to Spokane. We liked the size, the infrastructure, so we uprooted and brought, uh, at the time, 30 of our 90 employees, 1,500 miles with 26 18-wheeler trucks. Altec started off in uh, roughly 1980 as a component manufacturer for the medical industry. We now have evolved to a contract manufacturer serving primarily the medical and aerospace industries. Our client base is made up primarily of half a dozen major customers in the aerospace industry, uh, mainly first tier suppliers directly to the aerospace OEMs. The success of Scanaval was feeding the local vendors, be it Novation that does our anodizing, uh, the material suppliers, uh, the shipping companies, the airlines, I mean, it all interacts. With our success, uh, as we grow, our suppliers will grow, as well as our employee headcount, and that has a huge benefit for the local economy. The Inland Northwest Aerospace Technology Center is a training center to answer the demand for workforce education in the aerospace industry in Washington State. We have approximately 150 students enrolled in our programs that serve the aerospace industry in the state. For our manufacturer, we look for people with assembly skills that can assemble parts together and can understand blueprints and drawings. We are looking for very conscientious people at the operator level, somebody who's going to pay close attention to detail. The center provides the skill gap by, by meeting with industry and making sure that we are assessing what, what the latest trends are in manufacturing, in aerospace manufacturing, what's necessary, and that we're embedding that in the curriculum. To be competitive as a region, we need to be able to identify key sites that are primed for development, uh, put them through the uh, certified process. They're basically shovel ready. So when we have a user, we can hit the ground with permits and get them into production, uh, construction and production as quickly as possible. To know what the city has available in, in property is key as we try to um, and work to recruit aerospace, manufacturing, high-tech manufacturing, 
Uh, that's a key piece. Greater Spokane Incorporated is a major partner in this effort that has the ability to go out and, and uh, have those conversations and do the marketing effort to attract businesses to the region. We're known as the aerospace uh, state and really quite frankly here in Spokane we have over 80 firms, manufacturers, educational opportunities that we really complement that industry and we bring a lot to the table. We're close to the center of aerospace being on the west side but we also are a key supplier and we want to make sure that across the United States and quite frankly across the world that major manufacturers in the aerospace industry know that Spokane is a viable option and quite frankly is a smart investment for them. The Inland Northwest Aerospace Consortium is a group of small businesses that are working together to attract new business, new aerospace companies into our region, and the other is to attract aerospace work into our region. When we market ourselves through trade shows, through conferences, we're marketing us as a consortium. We're marketing this region. The I-5 corridor, which has been the primary focus to support the industry, is uh, overwhelmed with work. So they're looking east, they're looking at Spokane, they're looking at the consortium that we currently have in place. The aerospace cluster is already here. We need to continue to fine tune that cluster, working with our partners at GSI and obviously our partners at Spokane Community College in this recruitment effort so that we can feed that pipeline of available employees in those technical skill areas that these aerospace manufacturers need. Ford Fairchild and Greater Spokane Incorporated are really leading the effort to meet the criteria of the new tanker recruiting. Uh, we make a real uh, effort to represent Fairchild as well as Spokane. And Spokane is very blessed to have Fairchild and, and I think that uh, Greater Spokane Incorporated has been the reason that we've been so successful in trying to get new Melcon dollars for the region. Uh, we've been uh, very influential in in uh, trying to appeal for this tanker uh, uh, mission. So, uh, Greater Spokane Incorporated has led the charge and that's really an important uh, part of what GSI does. You know, uh, partnering with GSI and having them uh, be the lead and one of the key lead uh, organizations, that is a perfect partnership and the city stands ready to do our piece, which is making sure that we have certified sites, to make sure that we're committed uh, to the permitting and the zoning and the, and, the, and the regulatory environment that is conducive to recruiting these companies. They've been instrumental in lining us up with some of our local suppliers as well as from a lobbying point of view they bring together a, a larger voice in both Olympia and Washington DC which has been uh, helpful in both the tanker program as well as some state legislation. I think the demand for aircraft in the next 20 years is going to be significant. Uh, we know that currently, uh, worldwide, the demand for commercial aircraft and aviation is going to nearly double here in the next 50 years. The future of aerospace for the Spokane region from a Triumph Composites perspective is very bright. Uh, we see Boeing as a very a strong uh, customer of ours, and as we continue to diversify our customer base, uh, I think the business is just going to go bigger and bigger for all of the aerospace companies here in the, in the region. We've um, done a good job of working with industry to answer their workforce needs. Greater Spokane Incorporated has been a great partner with the community college. I think we've got all the pieces together to really move forward with a strong aerospace industry in the Inland Northwest. The um, uh, Boeing company on the other side of the state is uh, reaching a point where they're maximizing their capability and production. And as they look for uh, next uh, communities to um, be part of that production line, Spokane is in a great position to be part of that production system. Um, but there are other manufacturers, um, other airplane um, suppliers in the country that could also find Spokane very attractive. Really for the first time we have an extremely focused group and dedicated group of people that understand looking at the airport city concept that we actually have the ability to pull off significant aerospace recruitment uh, objectives for the benefit of the local economy. 
whether it be the uh, the air show at, at uh, Fairchild, you know, throughout the years. I mean, who it brings to our community through just the, the educational opportunities, whether it be in science or technology, engineering and math. And we have great cornerstones in that area through our university system, through our community college system, and through our K through 12 system. So it is a perfect match and one that I'm excited to continue to work with the partners on to further um, and expand the aerospace industry here in Spokane.